Hey, how's it going? Today, we're gonna be putting a new exhaust on my truck right here, the Mega Cab Long Bed. That's, what, that's the plans we got for this beautiful morning. Now, I've mentioned in several other videos that this truck does have an axle dump exhaust. You can see it right there. I think you can see there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, an AFE power exhaust blowing right on my leaf spring and my tires. So that's great. And at first when I was driving around with the seller, when I was like looking at the truck and driving it around, I thought I'm like, well, it's probably not going to be that bad. There can't be that much drone, right? Wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of drone, especially when you're towing, especially when you're loaded up heavy and it's like bogging down. Down, climbing up the hills it's it's really terrible honestly and axle dump exhaust is by far one of the dumbest modifications out there that you could like it's by far one of the dumbest modifications you could do to your truck if you're even looking for any kind of drivability right it literally just puts the drone right into the cab not to mention who knows about exhaust fumes going up you know I realize it's all the way by the back axle so it can't be that bad but still it's just overall a really bad modification the other thing is that's really making me mad is uh, apparently it's hard to get stuff delivered um, overnight because I ordered an exhaust uh, from uh, an online website and I paid like $181 for all overnight shipping. 181 bucks for overnight shipping on an exhaust. And they're like, oh, we can't, uh, we had trouble delivering it this morning. I call them up, I'm like, dude, I don't have a sticker. I don't, nobody knocked on my door. I've been sitting at the house all morning. There's no way you guys actually tried to deliver it and it failed. But apparently that's what they are saying they did. So right now we gotta go drive up to UPS and grab the thing. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, what ended up happening yesterday was I ended up showing to showing up to UPS saying, hey, where's my exhaust? I paid $181 for overnight shipping. And they said, yeah, it looks like the logo got printed yesterday or whatever, but it never got put onto the truck because they were already, they missed the pickup time. So yeah, so basically I paid $181 for two days shipping. But anyways, that's all right. So I've already started taking apart the old exhaust and the new, uh, the new exhaust is really, really nice. I'm excited about it. This is the axle dump and it's really windy today. It's really cold actually too. So I'm a little disappointed. I could have been doing this in nice weather. Look, I'm wearing a sweater guys. How, how often do you see me wear a sweater? This is, it's ridiculous. But anyways, here it is. This is the, the, the jewelry, I guess you could say. The Magna Flow, look, it's already all dirty. <laughs> the Magna Flow four inch to, wait, no, five inch to two four inchers. Or no, a four inch to two fours. I'm not quite sure actually what I ordered, but I'll just put it right here on the screen uh, so that you guys can see. This thing uh, supposedly sounds kind of nice i don't really care about sound guys i've realized that going cheap usually means you get frustrated you get mad and <laughs> that's why i'm trying not to do that anymore and so what i realized is instead i'm going to order high quality things and this magnaflow look at these clamps like look at these things like you got a bracket with the little things like all right so i was under here laying trying to install the thing and you know i'm just making sure measuring everything is okay and i, I it says to use the long one if you have a crew cab uh, or, or long, the crew cab long bed, right? But then it says to use the short one right here, this piece right here. See how this this one, like a foot section? It says to use that one if you have a mega cab. Well, because your boy has a mega cab long bed, <laughs> I use both pieces. Uh, so that's the way it's working out. But, right, so look, it makes sense right here. This slides onto this because you don't want the exhaust to come out. This slides onto this. And then under here, or under, I should say, out oh, here, I'm installing the rest of it. And so this one slides onto that one that we just saw under the truck. And then this one should, to my understanding, slide onto this one. But <laughs> even with a $500 exhaust, right, you think it's just like nothing crazy going on here. But even with this exhaust, they did not stretch this one out. So, wait, how is that, is that? They didn't, oh, there you go. They, they didn't stretch this one out. And so now I'm having to like, you know, use the hammer and improvise and stuff. Like, it's like, come on, man. You know, like the whole point of pay, overpaying for products is because they should have good QC, quality control, right? When a item leaves your factory, it should be tested and should be good to go. Like less of these things should happen. This is like a, this is a cheap exhaust problem usually. Um, like it wouldn't make sense, right guys? Like it wouldn't make sense for this thing to go inside that, 
right on the very end that doesn't make any sense so this thing has to go on the outside right and so it just doesn't doesn't fit so i'm using my pliers i'm trying to use the hammer and stuff like hammer it in so anyways that's uh first first issue basically um, but that's fine i'm gonna get her done and we'll throw it under there So I am done. Uh, comment below, how do you guys think that looks? Uh, I thought it would look more like the Ford exhaust, you know what I mean? Honestly, I wanted it to look kind of like the Ford exhaust because I think the duels from the Ford is cool. But, I'm, now it just looks like rice, you know? <laughs> like, I'm some kind of rice hotshot, you know what I mean? Like, oh man. Yeah, and it's slanted a little down and it's like uh, you know this is why you don't like have high expectations have low expectations have no expectations honestly that'd be better for you um but whatever you know i'm sure this thing will at least be better than that rotten annoying axle dump all right now let me tell you right away i noticed a huge difference driving it around with much less drone inside the cab so yeah like i like i was saying in the beginning of the video guys an axle dump is by far one of the most dumbest modifications you could do to your truck so definitely don't do that but um but then what i realized ultimately i was like you know I, I kind of messed up the clamps. I maybe didn't do them tight enough, you know, and, and I really wasn't happy with the work that I did. So I'm like, let's just hit up CP Steve Miller and let's just take him there or take it there, have him weld it again. And guys, keep in mind that this is a DPF back exhaust. I don't think it sounds any different. There, I just know that you know if I would if I were to spend much less money on a cheaper exhaust, I probably would have noticed all the same things that I'm noticing with this ex expensive exhaust. So, but anyways, I wanted to weld it either way so that uh, it's just easier and less stuff to go wrong, right? That's what I was worried about. But now we are keeping that one clamp that connects to the DPF. We are keeping that one. Um, and so uh, Steve really just got me in quick. You know, I gave him like probably 30 minutes notice. No, 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 it was wrong. 45 minutes notice. I told him, hey, I'm on a way to drop off the trailer at the truck stop, so uh, wake up, go to uh, go to the shop. <laughs> well, I mean, he was, he was working, so, uh, but I'm like, well, stop working, go to the shop, let's weld this exhaust. And apparently, the other thing is, this is a stainless steel exhaust, which you're supposed to TIG weld, I believe is what he said, and he doesn't have a TIG welder, so he MIG welded, a stainless steel exhaust and he was saying that some of the welds might not look so good because of that um, whatever I don't care it's just like it's an exhaust it's gonna be dirty and rusty and in salt and in snow like who's gonna see the dang thing um, if they weren't watching for this video right so anyways we, we welded it up real quick we installed it threw it right back under the truck and then we were able to get in and out of the shop in probably like an hour and a half so um, that was uh, super super convenient the one thing that I want to say is this fat mega long dually uh, 9300 pounds the 12,000 pound lift could not pick that sucker up. So uh, 9,300 plus my 90 gallon fuel tank, which is full, um, it couldn't lift it. So that just means I gotta be careful what shop I take it to. But anyways, that's gonna be the install for this video. That's gonna be the exhaust for this video. Let me know what you guys think about my Ford appearing or Ford looking exhaust, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.